Today we will be making a mandala, but then uh, this is this will not be a simple mandala that we just draw by making a circle. We are going to add uh, a few things to it so that you can use this in a many different ways. Okay, so we will be needing a black pen or color pens. It's up to you. Uh, color paper or normal paper it's up to you okay I'm using a white paper and I'll be using a few color pens okay and we'll need a scale pen uh, compass eraser and a pencil okay so let's start by making a square box on our paper okay so we will be making A square of seven into seven inches okay so quickly just make a box of seven into seven point inches Okay, now if you want, you can just cut the paper or you can let it be. You can cut it later also. It's up to you. Just quickly draw the line and make a square of 7 into 7 inches. Okay, now see, when you take your paper, from 1 to 3, there are 3 inches and from 4 to 7, there are 3 inches. In between, we have 3, mark 3 to mark 4, that is 1 inch, okay? So, what you are going to do is, you are going to mark your page at 3 inches and 4 inches. Okay, see? 3 inch and 4 inch so we have an inch of space right here okay and now we are going to make two straight lines in the middle of the paper in the center of the paper okay there are two lines here so we have divided our space our page into three parts okay See, divided my page into three parts. This is three inch, one inch, and then again three inch. Okay? Three inch, one inch, and then again three inch. So what you need to do is take your scale, put your scale in the middle of the sheet. Three inches, then one inches, and then three inches. So just mark your page at three inches and four inches. And at this spot, draw two straight lines. Okay? So... After this, you will see that you will have divided your page into three parts, okay? So just quickly divide your page into three parts. Take your compass. Okay? Now, just take this line. Okay? And mark it at 3.5. Okay, both the lines, these are two straight lines of 7 centimeter each. 
uh, seven inches each. I'm sorry. So now take your line and divide it in two halves. That is, it will be on three point five inches. So just put two dots on three point five inches like this, and. Take your compass and we will draw few semicircles. Okay, we won't continue the circle after these lines. Okay, see, just look at the first semicircle that I'm making, and then you can continue with yours. Okay, let's make the first circle at. Two inches, okay. So just take your scale, mark your compass, okay. Mark your compass at two inches. Put your compass point. See, this is the compass point on this dot at three point five at the center of this line, and you will draw a semicircle like this, okay. See, I haven't drawn beyond this line. Okay, we are going to make semicircles, not full circles. Okay, so the first line two two inches. Second line, we will make at. Four point five centimeters. Okay, so this one on your scale, you can take it from the centimeter side, not the inches. Okay, take four point five centimeters, and uh, for five inches, it was uh, for two inches. You can convert it. Uh, so here it will be five centimeters. Okay, so five centimeters. The first circle, the second circle that we are going to make semicircle, it will be for four point five centimeters. Okay. Next one, three point five centimeters. Three centimeter. Centimeter and one point five centimeter. See this one, one point five. Five and five. Okay, these circles I have measured all in centimeter, not in inches. The inches was this line. Okay, now this one, all of these are in centimeter five centimeter, four point five centimeter, three point five centimeter, three centimeter, two centimeter, and one point five centimeter. Okay. Repeat the same on the other side. Turn your paper and repeat the same. Let's start. I am doing it with color pen. If you want, you can do it with black pen or uh, color as color pens uh, like me, and you can choose any color that you want. 
okay any uh, color i am using blue and purple you can use any color pink red orange yellow green it's it's up to you okay let's start first let's make a leaf okay so let's start see it's bulgy at the middle and then pointed okay now draw a straight line inside it and then draw these diagonal lines okay now we will make a design like this see i've just made a curve along this line in this way and then a curve here okay on the line of the circle in the same way going on this side made a curve like this and a curve on this line of the circle okay now just draw a few lines like this here and fill the insides of this okay for the next one let's just make this design just small u's these are just small u's one beside another okay if you want i will just show it to you on this paper right here see just like this it's very easy okay and then just overline this semi circle with the pen okay
now again we will draw a line all over this one this uh, circle that we made now you can do this with pen or you uh, you can do this with compass you can just put your pen in your compass and make this line or you can just go slowly with your pen itself pen or pencil and see just slowly you can make this in this way you don't need to put your compass and pen together you can just slowly go and make this circle in this way okay now start from the top see this is the midpoint here is the midpoint and then we will start from the top by making this see a tomb gate sort of structure i will show it to you here on this rough sheet see a straight line then a curve a curve and then a straight line so you can do this in this way also that you draw two straight lines and then you join the curve okay see okay so either you can just start from one side like this and end on the other or you can just draw two lines and then join them okay make this all around So see, I guess you'll be able to make around nine of them, one in the center and four on each side. Okay. After doing this, make dots at the center. Okay. See at the center of each one of them. See, just follow the instruction. These are very simple. Now, make small leaves around it. You'll be able to make around five, five of them. One in the center, two on both sides. See. this is it your structure a center a dot at the center one leaf two leaf three leaf four leaf and five leaf see just make leaves like this see one two three four and five see the middle one is longer and the other two on the sides they are gradually getting uh, smaller as we move towards this line okay the uh, lower line okay very easy one guys okay 
after this take your pens and we will make next structure on top of these like this okay showing it to you on the rough sheet see this is your line these are your two tomb structures like this you will make one in the middle like this okay i hope all of you are understanding the one beside the line will be half okay not full now inside this let's start draw a line in the middle then just draw a small straight line inside and on the other side draw a swirl like this see just a ring with your pen a small ring okay i will show it to you here draw a straight line few diagonal lines inside of it and then a small ring see i'm bringing it closer to the camera so you can see this one okay a straight line in the middle then diagonal lines and then a ring we will draw dots on this line see this line where are the peaks of our this petal see in between we have spaces on all between all the leaves so we will give a dot in the middle see this is the space between the two uh, peaks and we will draw a dot on the middle of this line that is running through them okay so just quickly give dots on between all the leaf petals and then we will draw a leaf a diamond shaped leaf inside see on top of all of them draw diamond shape okay fill it in we are drawing leaves in diamond shape 
or you can just call them diamond shapes okay on top of all the dots and fill them in okay when this is done draw small v's right under them okay see just like this Okay. When this is done, make this same line here okay do this quickly guys okay now just repeat it on the inside uh, on this one okay after this is done take your pen those who are doing it with colorful pen you can take black pens and then keep your scale and draw a line from the start till the end of your mandala see and after this what you will do is keep your scale and draw 1 1 cm more on each side see 1 cm and on this side also 1 cm okay the same for this one draw a straight line and then 1 cm on each side more okay and now our mandala is ready you can use this to write a name here in front of a card suppose it's a card which opens so you can just write the name of the person receiving it right here or you can write a wish here maybe a happy birthday happy raksha bandhan or anything you can write a raksha bandhan quote here and gift it to your uh, 
cousin, friend, uh, cousin or uh, brother or sister, whatever. Okay. Also, what you can do is. crafting paper or color papers or anything you have and you can cut these okay you can cut these in uh, maybe a centimeter or 1.5 centimeters depend upon the size of your uh, mandala drawing and you can put it on the side and give a border or if you want you can also draw a border by making designs with pen okay or sketch pen or colors like you can make a line with your scale a border and then you can draw inside it okay for today i am just going to write happy Raksha Bandhan right here okay and then you can maybe draw a small heart okay so this was all for today's mandala class